on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, guys? Adding to my collection. This is a flaring FC500 cutting machine. It does have IGBT inverter technology in it. Its range is from 25 to 50 kilohertz. So it converts to 60 hertz alternating current to direct current, and then to a high frequency and lower voltage rectification, which significantly decreases the weight by about 30%. This is 220 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, will not operate on 110. The output adjustment range is 20 to 50 amps, and the cutting thicknesses for carbon steel is 16 millimeter, stainless steel is 16 millimeter, aluminum is 6 millimeter, and copper is 6 millimeter. It has a 60% duty cycle. The size of this unit is 428. By 280 by 350 millimeter and it weighs 9.8 kilograms you do have to supply air from an air compressor so it looks like it has a nice long ground cord a little over eight feet operation manual so this is what comes in the box it is very lightweight compared to my thermal dynamics my thermal dynamics is twice the size so it looks like we got to put this regulator together install it on a bracket and install on the back of this unit I have a set of torches and I have a plasma cutter I think the plasma cutter was like one of the best investments I've ever made as far as welding fabrication wise the only time I ever get my oxyacetylene torches out is if I have something that's really really thick anything half inch or under I use my plasma cutter so this plasma cutter will be my Florida plasma cutter, of course. And I'm gonna be getting different tools to set up my shop down here. I don't really have a shop. Right now I have a container. But soon I'll have a big steel building. Of course you wind this the direction of the thread, which this is clockwise. You don't want any of it in the hole. I guess we'll install our gauge first. This has an arrow going that way, so it's out is the right side facing the gauge and in on the left facing the gauge. I'm probably going to shorten it, it looks a little long. Not only is that a regulator, it has a little water separator here to drain the water out. And when you release the pressure off it, it'll automatically drain the water also. You have to pop this top up to adjust it and then push it down to lock your setting. I'm going to get that set once I get the air compressor hose hooked up to that. So they're saying 60 to 70 pounds. For pretty much every thickness and setting. So we'll set it to 65. What's up, Gizmo? So it looks like we're set on the back end. Some consumables, another tip, and the internal parts. I think that's the electrode. See a little o-ring there. That's a little piece of porcelain. Let's turn this around. It's very light. Let's hook up our switch control. Our gun. And our ground. And I believe we're ready to give it a test run. Flaring FC500 plasma cutter, or as they call it, cutting machine. 
The torch that was supplied with my plasma cutter is a PT31 torch, which is considered a touch type torch, which means the tip will touch the workpiece. So I got this Cheap Harbor Freight 1 CFM at 40 PSI. I didn't see in the manual how many CFM it actually takes for that unit. So I'd be surprised if this little air compressor will run it. But we'll give it a shot. If not, I got a bigger compressor I'll hook to it. This thing is so slow. Finally shut off. And I'll set this at 65, because it's 60 to 70, it said, is most cutting. See what it does when you turn it on. So it goes from 15 amps to 50 amps. I don't think that air compressor is going to keep up with it. We'll cut a few holes in this burn barrel. How about that? Put my goggles on. piece of cake with this thing. My last few cuts I think the plasmids alone was cutting it now I gotta get the bigger compressor I got ahead of myself so it doesn't say how many CFM a compressor you need judging by how much air you come out of that you probably need at least a 5 to 6 CFM air compressor so the plasma arc itself was cutting through that barrel because there was no air pressure pretty damn good except it was probably heating up that tip pretty good too you need that air to blow that plasma through, just like air on a torch. I'll get that bigger air compressor hooked up. So this is a four horsepower, but it doesn't say the CFM on it. Let's see how it does on a 3.8. Cut through the three eighths pretty good. Not so steady. Should use a straight edge, huh? Let's try it eighth inch. We're gonna crank it all the way up to 50 amps. We'll do the 3 8 first, see how she does. Not too shabby. Let's see what it does on a half inch. That's the half inch. That's the three eighths. Nice clean cut. I'm not perfectly steady, of course. If I had a bench, I'd probably do better. 
claims to do 0.6, so it should do just under 5 eighths. Pretty darn good. I'm impressed. That's a nice clean cut, you know, for not having a straight edge. Good job, flaring. And you hear how the machine winds itself down. So what do I think? I think it did a hell of a job. Especially on that half inch. Pretty decent rate too. I think I could have gone 5 eighths. It would have made it through if I went a little slower. And the 3 eighths was a piece of cake. So yeah, for the price and the size and the thing is so light. I'm happy to add this to my fabricating edition. Oh yeah. The Sound of Freedom again. I'll have the links and discount code if they give me one for you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I think I got a project for the big old Bobcat coming up. Turn those clamp-on forks into a more stable system by welding a plate to it. Weld the forks that are fixed where they have to go because they, they're pretty standard. And then I'm going to weld a plate that goes back that'll match up with the hole on the blade on the bucket. I got some work for these two machines. Well, look what came in. A day too late, of course. <laughs> these are some nice welding gloves. I'll put a link for these, too. So there's my new setup, boys. If you want to see how well these do, follow me, because I'll be using these in some future videos. But until then, thanks for watching. Stay cheesy. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.